We have now reached two years of JWST images, and to celebrate, we've got a brand new one showing off two incredible objects. This is the Penguin and Egg Galaxies, and through the infrared eyes of JWST, they look absolutely stunning. This is an ongoing interaction between two galaxies that has been happening for at least 25 million years, and possibly as long as 75 million years already. In the past, they've already made one close pass near to each other, and they will continue to orbit and interact with each other until one day they finally merge, hundreds of millions of years from now. Until then though, we can enjoy their beautiful penguin and egg shapes. The penguin and egg interaction is also known as ARP-142, and this image is a combination of both infrared light from JWST's NERCAM instrument and mid-infrared light from its MIRI instrument. We do also get to see the individual images from each of those instruments too, so what the galaxy looks like in either just near-infrared or just mid-infrared light. We will come back to look at those images and the differences between them shortly. But first, let's really look at this composite image and what we can see in it. First of all, there's a really cool thing here. Notice there's a sort of upside down U-shaped structure connecting the two galaxies. This is a combination of stars, gas and dust that continues to mix together as the two galaxies merge. This bright haze is beautiful and is not visible in older images of ARP-142. The Penguin Galaxy long ago would have been a spiral galaxy before it began to merge with the egg, but the gravitational interactions have changed it into the penguin shape we see today. Meanwhile, the egg has remained the elliptical shape it would have started with. This is because spiral galaxies have a lot of dust and gas in them, and that can be stripped away and twisted into these new shapes during mergers. While elliptical galaxies are gas poor, and stars are much harder to twist and distort, leaving it relatively untouched in terms of shape. ARP 142 is about 326 million light years from Earth in the Hydra constellation, and the Egg and Shady Penguin are about 100,000 light years apart from each other. That's actually pretty close in astronomical terms, so this penguin is currently keeping a close eye on its egg. That is an absolute dad being a dude, if you ask me. To compare, our Milky Way galaxy and its nearest galactic neighbour Andromeda are 2.5 million light years apart, and even they will merge in the far future, despite being 25 times more distant than the penguin at its egg. Oh, actually, comment down below if you agree that the penguin looks like a penguin, or if you think it's more of a hummingbird. Because sometimes I look at it and I can't quite decide. So feel free to share your thoughts on that down below. In the top right of the picture is a galaxy known as PGC 1237172, which is actually not interacting with the others. It's about 100 million light years closer to Earth than the other two. There's also a pair of very bright Milky Way stars with the six pronged diffraction spikes that JWST gives to stars because they're so bright. If you look carefully, there is another object in this picture that has diffraction spikes too that's not a star. See if you can spot it before I tell you about it in just a minute. In the background of this image, we can also see so many galaxies that are incredibly distant. And as always, I love how many of these JWST reveals to us. All right, now let's break it down and talk about the images that are just made of one type of infrared light. Starting with the NERCAM image, things look so good. This picture is just made of the near-infrared wavelengths of light that JWST observed. It looks fairly similar to the composite image, but with much less of the dust visible, as that is mostly seen in mid-infrared wavelengths. The tail of the penguin is brimming with a combination of dust, gas, distant galaxies in the background, and newly formed stars in the penguin galaxy while the beak is especially rich with dust and gas, and is one of the brightest star-forming regions in the penguin. The great thing about the NERCAM image is that it's actually part of a much wider image, showing a lot more of the environment that this pair live in. I adore how many galaxies we can see here, how ARP-142 looks nestled among them, and how the colours and shapes seem to be dancing deep in space. Let me know if you can spot anything particularly special in the background here. I love exploring these images, and I love hearing about what you can all spot in them too, so do let me know what you can see. The mirror image though looks quite different. Here, the galaxy in the top right practically disappears, 
This is because mid-infrared light captures mostly cooler, older stars and large amounts of dust. However, this galaxy has a very young population of stars, so it emits very little light in wavelengths that JWST is most sensitive to in the mid-infrared range. The egg appears exceptionally small too, looking like a tiny teal oval, again because it doesn't contain too many older stars. The penguin's shape, however, remains relatively unchanged. Miri shows all of the dust and gas, as well as smoky material in blue as well. The distant backgrounds look smaller and there are fewer of them visible too, but they still look beautiful. Any red objects you can see are thick with dust. The green objects are similar but more distant, and the blue objects are either galaxies that are closer to us. But if you zoom in and can see tiny diffraction spikes, then it's actually a star instead of a galaxy. Let me know how many of those you can spot in the comments below too. Now, let's have a look at comparing the new JWST NERCAM image with the older Hubble image of the same patch of space. I actually do have an old video talking about just that Hubble image and the object in general too. So feel free to check that out if you fancy it, but it is pretty old, so don't judge me on the quality of that video. Both images are made up of several wavelengths but the Hubble image is made up of visible wavelengths of light, while the JWST image is infrared light being translated into visible colors so that we can actually see it. In the Hubble image on the left, there is a thick, dark brown dust lane across the beak of the penguin and down its body and back. In the JWST image, this dust lane is much fainter because longer wavelengths of light, such as infrared light, are much better at penetrating through dust and revealing what's behind it. In the JWST image too, we can again see that U-shaped blue haze connecting the galaxies, while in the Hubble image, there's a much clearer gap between the two galaxies. It's not that the blue haze wasn't there for Hubble, it just couldn't see it. The egg though does look pretty similar in both images, although it is much brighter in the JWST one, and we can even see large diffraction spikes around it. Did you spot them earlier? Let me know if you did. This is a phenomenon usually reserved for only the brightest stars and nearby planets. So to see diffraction spikes around a galaxy show how incredibly good JWST is at collecting tons and tons of light. The galaxy in the top right is roughly the same size in both images, but the foreground star is much brighter in the JWST one, and we can see diffraction spikes in both, although we can see the different types of spikes that each telescope produces. Then there's the background galaxies, and JWST can see countless more of them. Again, because it's so good at collecting light, it just can't take images of blank space because of this. It's amazing. JWST really has been doing some amazing things in its second year of releasing data and taking stunning images. Check out other JWST videos on the channel. We've covered loads of the cool stuff that JWST has been up to, and I'll leave some of my favorites on screen at the end of this video and in the description too. Let me know if you have a favorite image from year two of JWST, and thanks a lot for watching all of these videos. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.